The noise in my head and the hurt in my heart wouldn't go away. I don't know what was so wrong with me. Why do I feel broken? I'm so angry. I hate this, but why? Why do I have to be broken? I did everything possible to distract from the noise, from the hurt. I missed my dad. I sucked as a mom. I can't sleep. I hate being me. Why? These thoughts ran through my mind constantly, so much that I couldn't sleep. I feared the silence. I feared being alone, because this is when I was left to feel my emotions, left to sit in my hurt. I could never completely hold back the tears. Then came the anger, anger because I felt weak, anger because I hurt. The only advantages to these moments were that I was able to sleep, if just for a little while. It was March 2012 when the light in the dark room of my life was turned on. I had to sit in a self-awareness lab. As I sat there, I was asked to participate in a classic empty chair therapy technique. So I did. I didn't know this was going to change my life. Sitting there, looking at the empty chair, I was instructed to talk to that part of myself that was hurt. I began to feel all my emotions coming up from the deep, unknown place where I had buried them. I felt like I was going to vomit. My instructor's voice broke the awkward silence. Finally, she told me, talk to that little girl sitting there. Tell her you understand. Tell her you love her. This was the beginning of my healing. I soon found out that I didn't have to feel this way. I was meant to have happiness. I discovered that I was wounded and I needed to be healed. But the most powerful part of this discovery was that I could be healed. I don't have to be broken. I finally gave that hurt child a voice and allowed her to speak. I gave acceptance and understanding to the lost and angry teenager. I gave love to the young mother and listened to her cries. I began to love and embrace the person I was and the person I am now. I freely gave myself the permission to mourn. Mourn the loss of my innocence, the loss of my brother, the loss of my father, the loss of my baby. My wounds began to heal. I could now see the beauty of my life, the strength of my spirit. This is the gift, the gift I give myself.